situation and by creating this fear it also created the possibilities of the arming of uh, people in order to what protect themselves against slave violence and I think you've indicated at least uh, three insurrections Alana did it with Harper's Ferry John Brown uh, with Nat Turner and, and, Sono Rebellion. and, and Sono Rebellion and et cetera. Now let's, let's move on beyond uh, 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 the South, uh, beyond the Civil War, and talk about some of the other things that helped to create that kind of violence in the South uh, after the institution of slavery uh, came to an end. Now when you think about <coughs> violence in the South after slavery, you usually think about Martin Luther King's assassination at the Lorraine Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, Malcolm, Malcolm uh, most people don't think of this, but I think I think of this sometimes when I hear about it. Malcolm X's father and how he was in a car crash with a Ku Klux Klan member and he was severed in half. Mm -hmm. Now they think that that car crash was actually on purpose that the Ku Klux Klan targeted his family because they used to burn crosses in his yard and when, and when he was, and his mother was so distraught over Malcolm's father's death that he, she actually had to admit herself into a mentally insane ward. And so he was on his own, so he moved down to New York City where he, uh, where when Moses King was later going around the world talking to people, that's when they met and they bonded a bit. But basically, their stories are two different stories. Now, now when you go to Martin Luther King, you think how he had peaceful protests. Mm -hmm. he, he did everything the way the Lord warned him to do it. He did it calmly, no gun violence. Now, Malcolm X, he was the exact opposite. He did things with violence. He yelled. He fought for what he wanted. Now, Martin Luther King was so much more calm. And when you think about them, some people don't notice it right away, but they were doing the same things, but in different ways. That's how John Brown, well, John Brown and Nat Turner were. They were doing the same, now they were doing the same thing, but for a, a little bit of different reasons. <laughs> so basically when you think about them, that's what you think about their similarities. And then the gun violence is, is, is present throughout uh, this. Now, one of, one of the more famous incidents I think you've mentioned to me earlier <coughs> had to do with the uh, Emmett Till. How did Emmett Till fit into all of this gun violence and this violence that was in the South? Well, Emmett Till was a young boy when he was kidnapped from his Mississippi home where the Ku Klux, Klux, Klux Klan pistol whipped him and gouged out his eyes completely did so much to him, all because he allegedly flirted to a white woman when she asked him to. She asked him to. So if he didn't do it, you could only imagine what would happen if he didn't do it. But when he did, when he does something that a white lady asked for, he gets murdered. What would happen if he didn't do what she asked for? And so, uh, so Emmett Till, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, uh, all of this violence that. Uh, persisted during the, the uh, institution of slavery, all pointed to the fact that uh, many people in the South felt that there was a need for weapons and a need for guns, and not only against slaves, but against uh, other whites who might also be willing to overthrow slavery. And I think you mentioned two of them. Tell me about something about John Brown. I think you mentioned him uh, quite prominently in dealing with this. Now, John Brown had a raid, the raid of Harper's Ferry, and he was basically a lot like Nat Turner, but there were two different times, different places. Now his raid was the same thing as Nat Turner. Yeah, he was like, well, we're going to attack on Harper's Ferry, kill these slave owners, but there's a catch. <coughs> John Brown was Caucasian. He was an abolitionist. <laughs> Nat Turner was a Freedman, he was a freed slave. And now, back then, they had no 